What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and Finra Saga. And in today's video I will show you several amazing news. Uh, first of all, we have a new ally from uh, Congress. On top of that, uh, potentially, very soon, we might see a RICO lawsuit against uh, these uh, bad actors. And uh, probably it will be a game changer for the entire financial industry. But definitely it needs more time. On top of that, uh, I will show you not the best news uh, regarding one uh, broker dealer who stonewalled the efforts to transfer uh, NextBridge Hydrocarbon shares to AST. And on top of that, I will show you an update uh, from Bird Lady uh, Roller Pigeons uh, about uh, the option, how you can. Uh, transfer your shares uh, to AST if uh, you hold it uh, on uh, IRA accounts. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, if you think my videos are valuable for the community. And uh, let's start uh, with this news. We are on official Twitter account of uh, Junk Savvy, and nine hours ago she wrote uh, this tweet. Thank you, Congressman Sarbanes. Uh, for your support for careful review of the MMTLP fiasco. Alexander Yon, thanks uh, for the hard work. And uh, here is uh, this screenshot of uh, an official letter from uh, Congressman Serbanis that was written uh, on August 18th, basically yesterday. And uh, let me quote it for you. Dear Mr. Yon, thank you for contacting me to express your concerns about the recent financial industry authority actions. I appreciate hearing from you about uh, the important issue. In order to be of uh, assistance uh, to you on this particular issue, I have contacted the appropriate officials uh, at the US Securities and Exchange Commission, urging a careful review of uh, this matter. As soon as I am provided with a response, uh, I will be certain to let you know. Again, I appreciate hearing from you. Please do not hesitate to contact me about uh, other issues of concern to you in the future. Sincerely, John Serbanis, Member of Congress. So, it is a very good news. I have to say that uh, more and more congressmen uh, are trying to help us. At least uh, they write these type of letters. And uh, definitely the main uh, efforts uh, was made by 15 Congress members uh, who signed uh, the letter of uh, fearless, so-called fearless 15, and Ali Grain, who also made uh, the letter back uh, in uh, July uh, this year. And uh, this, in my opinion, is a very important step uh, because uh, the more allies we have in Congress, the more chances we have to win this battle. So, and let me show you very important news uh, on the official uh, Twitter of Mark Basile. You can find this tweet, and uh, the original tweet was made by Frank uh, Benedetta. And uh, Frank uh, posted uh, the link uh, on the article that was uh, written back in uh, February of 2022. And uh, he wrote, this is gaining traction. And let me show you what is he talking about. Uh, the Department of Justice is reportedly exploring if they can charge stock market short sellers with uh, the same law used to take down the mafia. And uh, let me quote to these bullet points. The Department of Justice is exploring if they can charge stock market short sellers with the same law used to prosecute uh, the mafia, according to a Reuters report. Several short selling research firms have been on uh, the DOJ's radar as they investigate uh, legal trading tactics. Subpoenas have uh, been sent to dozens of firms, including Citron Research and Muddy Waters. And why it is so important? I have to say that uh, RICO lawsuit uh, is like an atomic bomb uh, because uh, it can solve a lot of problems and if uh, this uh, lawsuit uh, will be filed against short sellers, definitely it will completely change uh, the entire market. And let me show you what did uh, uh, Mark Basile answer. So first of all, JS asked him, if uh, they do get charged, how likely are civil suits to follow? I know many who lost hundreds of thousands in stocks uh, founded by Anson, uh, Intercoastal, Hudson and Sebi. And Mark Basile answered, very. So it is very likely that uh, we can see this type of lawsuits. 
and uh, if it happens it will definitely change uh, the entire market and it will help us to solve our problem of mmtlp community and in my opinion this is a real bombshell that uh, is happening right now definitely it is not uh, the overnight uh, solution but uh, i think uh, we are on the right path and uh, we are the people who make uh, this happen and let, let me show you another news rare dd uh, wrote this tweet 10 hours ago and basically this uh, uh, several tweets uh, show that uh, potentially yes they can be sued uh, by rico lawsuit and uh, let me quote to this could it be the 18 years that gary gangster spent at goldman sachs that uh, has him uh, treating the mmtlp fiasco different from esther pierce and uh, yes uh, this uh, fact is uh, very well known that uh, gary gangster worked at Goldman Sachs for 18 years from 1979 to 1997 and on top of that let me show you this uh, these several tweets that uh, were written by rare dt as well 14 hours ago he wrote if gary gensler came from Goldman Sachs and if uh, Catherine uh, Rivaler is currently at Goldman Sachs and FINRA can we expect FINRA or the SEC to properly investigate the MMTLP fiasco if uh, the suspected uh, culprit uh, uses Goldman Sachs as a clearance broker. And uh, yes, uh, in my opinion, it is a conflict of interest. And uh, let me show you even further. Uh, he wrote uh, yesterday, Rare DD wrote on August 18th, uh, this tweet. Uh, Michael Pivovar, James Angel, Catherine Rimmeler and FINRA all have a connection to Georgetown University. They are each potentially involved uh, with uh, trying to hide uh, the trading activities of GTS Securities. How quickly do you hit it off uh, with the fellow alumni? And uh, for those of you who don't know, GTS Securities is uh, the company that uh, potentially was involved in the process of uh, first trade of MMTLP stocks uh, back in uh, uh, 2021. The second company is Conaccord, and uh, these people were connected and are connected uh, by uh, the Georgetown University. And uh, James Angel uh, was uh, the so-called helper who helped, who allegedly helped uh, the Congress to solve MMTLP problem. And uh, right now we can see that uh, he is not uh, the person uh, who we want to see as our ally. So, and I think uh, it is a very, very good uh, investigation and it is a very good uh, due diligence that was made by Rare DD. So, on top of that, let me show you this. Uh, we are on the uh, official YouTube channel of Bird Lady Roller Pigeons and she is also a member of MMTLP community. And she uh, publi published uh, this video just 5 hours ago and it's titled Next Bridge Hydrocarbons MMTLP IRA Edition uh, August 18th, uh, 2023. And in this video, she explains uh, and uh, she showed uh, uh, to her audience uh, that uh, there is a, there are at least two companies that uh, have uh, the possibility to transfer your uh, shares of uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, to ST if uh, you hold it uh, on IRA accounts. And uh, she basically made a step-by-step -step instruction and she called uh, to these two companies and asked uh, their representatives uh, is it possible or not to transfer the shares of Next Bridge Hydrocarbons to AST uh, if uh, you hold it uh, on uh, IRA uh, accounts. And uh, in my opinion, it is a very important and useful information for those of you who want uh, to transfer it and uh, basically who has it uh, on IRA. It doesn't matter, a traditional IRA or Roth IRA as well. So, shout out to Bird Lady uh, for this uh, video. And let me show you not the best news uh, regarding our case. Paul T wrote this tweet uh, four hours ago. Not good news for those holding MMTLP shares at uh, Scotia's uh, trade. Uh, this is exactly the sort of information Esther Pierce and Pete Sessions need to hear about. I've been uh, stonewalled at uh, every turn. And he reposted uh, the tweet that was originally made by Meta Warrior, that uh, was made again four hours ago. Scotia I trade uh, in Canada has not executed next bridge hydrocarbons uh, shares uh, transfer request to AST. Stonewalling. Managers uh, do not uh, return calls. Uh, what uh, is that share count? Huh? 
And uh, yes, unfortunately, uh, some broker dealers, we have uh, this evidence that some broker dealers uh, are stonewalling any efforts to transfer these shares to ST. And for now, we don't, uh, basically, I don't know how to solve this problem. And uh, we don't have any solutions. Definitely, uh, some uh, authorities uh, might force them to do it. But so far, we cannot, we cannot do anything at this very moment. That is why just be cautious. And if you hold your shares uh, with this uh, broker, just uh, try to uh, transfer your shares to other broker dealer who has the ability to transfer shares to ST if you want uh, to transfer it. Definitely it is up to you, but uh, Scotia iTrade is not uh, the best choice in this case. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, can't live it up.